you've dialed in to Box and Brews, you might hear something you can use. Like tips on your cash or tips on the suds. You're going to want to use the smarts of these studs. Because they know the brews. And they know the box. And they know they can't help the stubborn fucks. So listen up, because shit's not funny. And save yourself some beer money. Box and, and brews. brews. Box and Box. Brews. And, and brews. brews. Bucks and brews. So welcome back to Pops and Oh no, that's a different show. Welcome back to Bucks and Brews. I say pops and pennies because I'm only drinking pop tonight. You're drinking pop? I'm only drinking pop tonight. I had so much to drink on Saturday. <laughs> Nick's looking around like, are we doing pops and pennies? <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. I want to drink on Saturday too, and I'm still drinking. I'm not drinking. I had so much to freaking drink. Like I was not drunk when I got home, but I was very, very drunk by the time my wife got home. Yeah, I, I don't remember a lot of that. Oh, do you remember texting me? Yes, I remember texting you, and we were telling you you were an asshole because you wouldn't come over, and then some. Yeah, like yeah, just how much of the biggest world's piece of crap <laughs> I am because. It gives you wouldn't come over and drink with us and watch baseball. Oh my god! You were going to get there. You're going to be passed out. You, you were you were wifeless. You were daughterless. I, I mean, was. I would probably do the same thing you would. I'd be like, I'm sleeping. I literally, I, <laughs> I just took meat, and I I drank, but I had it at my daughter's event, so I couldn't yeah. go crazy. And I'm sitting here going, oh man. And then I was having really, really bad acid problems, right? Like between the stuff we ate, between the drinks, plus then I went out to tacos, like. And I was just, this is not, my belly was burning all night. Like I couldn't have enough roll aids. Mike and I had a whole plan for Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. We were going to get home from beer and donut fest. We we're going to, I ordered pizza on the way home. So we had something to eat because he was very drunk. Yeah. Uh, we were going to watch the Cubs game, even though they'd already played. So we watched the Cubs game. We were, he was going to crash the night. We were going to wake up the next day, hang out, watch the Cubs game in the afternoon. He, he went home up until watching the Cubs game in the afternoon. Huh? Yeah. He, <laughs> he, he never... went home at like two hours before the Cubs game started. He's like, <laughs> oh, I am buddy. so tired. I'm like, I am too. He goes, kind of want to go home and go to sleep. I said, I'm not going to lie. I will not be offended if you go home because if you leave, I'm going to sleep. I never did take a nap, but I just kind of laid around the rest of the damn I should day. should have texted you boys all day Sunday. Come on <laughs> over. Come do this. Come in. I need to go get a the, the hangover was real. So oh. hit us with your beginning, Nick. So, as always, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your family. Hope you enjoyed our quick introduction. All right. Today, David, we talked about you drinking pop. I'm drinking the tried and the true, always the blue, Bud Light. And uh, like someday they're going to wise up and sponsor us. I mean, they really should at this point. Yep. Uh, it's <laughs> hats. Mike went and got his new hat. We're all wearing a new hat today. We are. And they, uh, they, I was debated they wearing the other new hat that I got. which was Donut and Beer like Festival. Burgers. Donut worry beer happy, and it's trademarked. It is trademarked. I did not know that. So, themed episode today, we are going to talk about the donut and beer festival that took place in Comstock Park, Michigan on May the 6th, which was somebody's birthday. Happy birthday, Michael! Happy birthday, Michael. Um, we decided to do that. I did not have softball that day, and Mike wanted to do something fun for his birthday. He he wasn't really looking forward to his birthday till this event popped up, and he's like, I, I think we should go do that. Nope. And I talked to Nick and I'm like, I think we could, you know, promote the hell out of Bucks and Brews. And that's exactly what we did. We went and promoted the hell out of Bucks and Brews. <laughs> and then some, right? So we got VIP tickets. We did. Uh, VIP got you in an hour early. Yep. You got 10 drinking food tickets instead of six. Yep. You also got the option to purchase more tickets before they went on sale to the general public at a discounted price. Yep. So prices were $2 for a donut ticket. Or no dollar for a donut ticket. No, no. They were two dollars for a donut ticket or three dollars for a beer ticket if you bought them when the event opened at two. Oh wow. We bought them before two o'clock, so we got them for one and two. I mean, we didn't buy more donuts, but yeah. we bought 10 more beer tickets each. Yep. And found out quickly that we shouldn't have. Yeah. Because one person came up to us and oh my, you guys got the podcast, right? And Mike and I are like, Yeah. Oh, you guys sound awesome. Here's all of our tickets. Yeah. And we were like, Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, mister. When we got separated right before you left, yeah, I had another person come over, gave us not alcoholic tickets, gave us donut tickets, and gave us like eight more beer tickets. Wow! And at that point, we were trying not to have anything else because somebody was hammered. Yeah, and I needed to be able to drive. Yeah, and there were five ounce pours, right? And that was what I was trying to explain because somebody's like, "Oh man, you get totally wasted." I was like, "Look, ten tickets, fifty ounces." I mean, 
Yeah, but I guarantee you, when you didn't like that one Mead. Kaiser, and you okay. poured like th a three and a half or four into mine, I mean, that was basically like drinking a full bottle. Yeah, of, of course. Something that's like 12%. No, and I said, I, you know, I'm trust me, there was a couple. The one, the one lady's ass. like, "You guys want a double?" And I was like, "Heck yeah! Like, pour it. It's great." Um, but you know, I mean, I guess ten tickets is fifty ounces, right? Yeah. So it wasn't like it wasn't like we were going it was going crazy. Yeah, we weren't there to get hammered. Like, yep. I was never drunk. Yep. Uh, Mike definitely drank more because he drank some of yours. Yeah. And I gave him extra tickets. Extra tickets. Like I I did not want to, you know, get hammered or anything. I needed to drive home. Right. So he was definitely drunk and having a great time. He had a great time. Great birthday. Um, I am so glad we did it. Yeah. Um, and I definitely want to talk about some of the things. Mike, uh, give me your recap real quick before we go on to some of the shit we got people we talked to. I drank a lot. Let's <laughs> say. Man, um, man of few I words. got some swag. The uh, who, was, who was your favorite beer place, Mike? I mean, honestly, I really, really... For people I'd never drank their stuff of versus people I have, I really, and that's why I'm using their cup cozy today, is the brewery Outre, which was yeah. the one at the very, very tail end where everybody was moving around to get to that one donut spot. I like them, and they liked us a lot. They want to have us down. Yep. Yeah. I I really like them. They're in downtown Kalamazoo, so I mean, it's close to me, and that makes yeah. me happy. I mean, unfortunately, I'm a... Feel like I need to be a regular other places too, but well, give me another spot to go once in a while. I really enjoyed the uh, Pink Barrel Cellars. Not just a fruity brewery. Yep, I thought they had really good stuff. Yep. Uh, Nick, who did you really like? Mm, beer wise or entertainment or what? Beer wise. Beer wise. Um, let's see. I. I don't know. I mean, I, I really enjoyed being able to try that new stuff from Cranes, right? Yeah. That was surprising to me. Um, there was a meadery there, and I forget who they were. It wasn't Arctos. It was that the first other one. one. No, it was the, the first one we went to, not the second one. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't Arctos. No, was Arctos was the first one we went to. It was the second one I liked. I gave you the first drink, but then I, I had the second one, and I liked Oh, you that. had the second one. Okay. Um, The first one I didn't, but the second one. And then, I don't know, so it was the... Sorry, it wasn't even a geez it wasn't even a meter it was the kid who had some really fun flavored beers um and i'll know about it when we go through our list uh it's say we just made connections with a lot but he had some really great beers i really enjoyed it and was doing well he just starting out so um but no i mean i really like i go to cranes quite a bit so i really kind of enjoyed that interaction that i had so that kind of stuck out to me yeah i thought brewery wise we had a lot of good breweries there yeah mm -hmm. i was quite happy with it um Thought that the donuts were okay. I mean, that's something you need to have, you know. It, yep. it gave options. That was fine. Yeah. I, not a huge donut guy. See, I, I think, am. I mean, I like, I'm not saying I don't like donuts, but. And they didn't have donuts. They taste I a little stale, but it's harder because they probably right. had to make them all at five, six o'clock this morning or yeah. earlier. Yeah. And by the well, time like one thirty, two o'clock rolls around, they're not fresh and donuts don't stay right more than a few hours well and, and you know i'm not a huge fan of a cake donut if that makes any sense right you like so, a yeast donut yeah that's my wife right so um i like both i you know no me wrong i I'm just, i do too not like i'm not gonna eat it but i'm just saying if i had an option but um you know i i enjoyed myself quite a bit um we had some non-alcoholic stuff which was really fun we got a nice contact with the pop guy yeah which and, I have his stuff in here somewhere. Yep. And then the guy that used to own a brewery now owns a non-alcoholic thing. Yeah. He's got the CBD stuff. Um, that was, you know, <laughs> when you guys left, bailed on me, I was, that's, we got the hat from yeah, it. Yeah. Like I made huge connections with that. So we'll reach out to them. Um, so it was just, it was great. Right. Cause I'm talking, you guys kept all the, all the stuff and we're just like, here. Yeah. We just kept throwing stuff in the bag and then we just kept yeah. handing out our shit. You know, the hard part is like, we all like revolution brewing. Yeah their booth was kind of boring it in, was. in the sense of things, but then we ended up in line with the, the, the rep type thing. And she's amazing. Had a yeah. great time, but it was just because, you know, we instantly walked in they weren't, you know, they weren't ready for it type thing. It was, was the like, first place we went. And because they didn't bring some of the beers that we were right. wanting. Right. 
again, Bell's was there. Bell's is a great brewery. But they didn't have, have any time. They, didn't have yeah, this, it was, well, granted, they had Oberon, which I'm not a huge Oberon fan. They they had stuff that other people yeah. would absolutely love. All day, I think, was there. Uh, all day would be from uh, founders. But what was what they did? They had they had um oh they had uh, what's their IPA Lager of the Lakes there. Okay, well, they, they had Lager of the Lakes. They had that, and then they had the uh, Hop Slam. Yep. Hop Slam. That was which it. is you know which is great. But um and they're all really good beers. But it's just like to me, it was like man, I know the things you guys can make. And this is what you it brought. A, <laughs> that's <laughs> great if, if you never have bells. Exactly. But the if somebody that is, has it, they could only each one could basically only bring three things. Yeah, and they and they were limited on what alcohol content they were allowed to bring. Yep. And that too. Right? Yeah, because like yeah, New Holland couldn't bring Dragon Spot. Right, they couldn't bring. And so that was the other thing. Like, yeah. Bring you know I don't want to just pick on bells, but it's like New Holland as well, right? I was like, you have so much awesomeness, and you brought me this, like. <laughs> Well, they do poet like, too, don't they? Yeah, yeah, and they didn't have how that. much we we enjoy brew dog. Yeah, yep. and we only had the one that we would actually drink, which was a lager. It was that was the, the Mexican uh, lager, right? It was the uh, Caddyshack one. Okay, what was the Caddyshack one? I don't remember. It was Bush Bushwood something. Yeah, yeah, but they otherwise they had like a couple of you know they had IPAs. a couple of IPAs, Elvis and another one. Mm -hmm. You know, the and, Elvis juice and then the other hazy. Yeah. And I mean, I I don't like sours really. I mean, I did have one that I liked. Nope. I don't remember from where, but like their pride uh, sour that they have. Yep. I'm not a huge fan, of, but I'll drink that because yep. it's a pride beer. But they didn't have that. Well, well even say, the one that we had gone to where it was like one was like advertised as like a lime lager. And then the, what they actually advertised as like a sour, like. Mm -hmm. The one that you had gotten, which wasn't the sour, was more sour than the one that I had gotten, which was, yeah. yeah. I don't remember which place that was. I don't either. It was a lemonade that I got, and the sour was less sour than the lemonade that I got. Right. Um. Well, let's dig into some of these yeah, places. Sure. Got a whole bunch of swag. So Mike already mentioned Brewery Outre in Kalamazoo. Outre. 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 You'd think um, I know how to say that because I did take two years. They, of they they were they actually had a really good peanut butter porter. They did right. Yep, because it's twenty five percent off. We really liked that. You were not as huge of a fan, but I mean, from what everybody else was. And okay, so again, when people are like, "Ooh, this is great," okay, that's good. That's fine. Again, I'm 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 here. You asked for my opinion. Mm -hmm. You didn't ask for hey this. And so I said, "Hey, look, if I'm going to compare it to." Uh, Jaden James Brewing, which hands down has monkey the, butter, best right? best peanut butter. The Bob's the Bob's peanut butter porter is hands down my favorite. Right, it is the best flavor, the best everything. They're back now. I'm very excited. So, right, if you're going to compare, but yeah. the best there, yeah, okay. But if you want me to go out out of my way to get it, I'm not going to. Right, <laughs> plain and simple. So this one excited me. This is not a beer. This was Kitty Wampus. Soda Brewing. Soda, yeah, out of uh, Holland. So, yeah, Soda Joe. We yep. talked to quite a bit. We plugged Pops and Pennies to him. He thought that was great. Yep. So we're okay. definitely going to reach out to Joe and hopefully have him on the show. Yep. And uh, got a I cool name. Dream. Yes. Maybe we can do some kind of partnership with him with Pops and Pennies. Who knows? Yeah. Let's, let's hope cool that's cool name. Soda Joe Groenhoff. Oh, Kitty Wampus. Kitty Wampus Soda. Kitty Wampus. It's a so cool brewing. name. Yes, it's a cool name. I oh, thought he cool said, name. what was the name? I thought he said, give me the full name. Oh, yeah. This whole time, you and I were thinking full name. Oh, well, shit happens, right? Full name. Also with brewery. Is that Mike? Outre. Outre. Outre, thank you. Uh, we got a 25% off any full pour or flight. Yep. Which expires the beginning of July, my birth month. So we'll we need to make sure we get down there and do that. Um, Toppling Goliath Brewing. From Iowa, they were fun. That was, actually, he was a really cool guy. To I talk to. really liked talking to him, even yeah. though Mike and I made some Iowa sucks jokes. Well, we made the comment about that was that must that's about the only good thing that came out of Iowa. That's come Absolutely, out of Iowa. but he he admitted he's the northeast corner, so yeah. you know he's not all the way into the Iowa people. It's and uh, I I really enjoyed their beer. Yeah, they had some good stuff. Yeah. I I liked talking to him. I don't have a card from him, but we're gonna have to reach out to them. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um. Alaskan Brewing, we, we talked to Dave, yep. who's a sales rep. Yeah, which Dave, really, I say I, because you guys were talking to the people. <laughs> so here's here's how our time went, right? We walk up there like, oh, hey, you're going to go up to Alaska Brewing. And so all of a sudden, I, you guys are getting a drink, and I hear, yeah, it's about how you do your money or whatever. And I was like, let's sit and talk. What do you mean, money, boys? Like, here we go. Yeah, and so 
sat and talked. You guys yeah. ended up sitting and talking to them, yeah. and I, I'm going to get drinks and shooting the crap with Mr. Roof and doing all that. So, um, but yeah, I say Dave said he's down to to talk with us. Alaskan Brewing, I got some, uh, looks like tattoos there from. Yeah, tattoos and um, other random little swag from them. Yeah, we got a lot of swag from these places. It was great. Yeah. Odd Brothers Craft Cider from Homer. We talked yeah. to him quite a bit, too. Yeah, yeah. that was that was the guy, right? Yeah, because he was from Homer, between yeah. Jackson and Battle Creek. And, right. I, and we kept going, where's Homer? Yeah, that was the one. I knew I, where I Homer really, was. That was the one I really enjoyed, because yeah. he, he had really fun, fun ciders, things yep. like that. So... That was the one I was talking about in the beginning, where it was like, "Hey, I like what Wasn't they did." Wasn't that the one that had the sriracha? I might. Have, I, uh, I don't. Yeah. Think that, no. that might have been yeah, the. Yeah. Uh, that might have been though the. Uh, no, that was the sriracha because it wasn't hot. It was you know it just had the flavor on yeah. it, so it wasn't the spiciness. Um, we had Johnny Bootlegger, original mm-hmm. Club Tales cocktail in a can. Yep. Uh, we met Michael y- Yapo. Yep from there really so guys again that one was really fun for me because i mean it literally was a cocktail in a can yeah. it was like holy cow like i didn't have to sit here and mix this all and it yeah, was just I, ready to go i think i had the yeah. margarita one which was very good you yeah. had Bahama mama I, yeah and, uh sex on the beach sex on the beach yeah yeah because yeah, that was the one that was just past that one yep the, like, the non alcoholic like like yeah which style. we're coming up to here in a minute talking about uh beatbox which is 11.1 alcohol by volume which was really awesome so was. roberto we talked to yeah so apparently they take their stuff they they get it they ship it to mexico and somewhere else they box it up ship it back um i was like hey what do you surprise me he, blue 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 raspberry yeah most potent most fun they also had a lemonade and they had um another one but everything was just it, it's a summer drink yeah. I and mean, you can carry that around like a box of water it was just i love the fact that it's recyclable I love the fact that it's an alcoholic beverage and it tastes amazing. Yeah, so, it was really good. Really enjoyed that. Um, Nick and Mike both loved Adam Dickey from Full. Yeah. Full gave them a nice hat. Oh, dude. Fuel Your Quest is... is and it's a purple per- hat, right? Yep, it's purple mm-hmm. hat. Um, they had a bunch of non-alcoholics. Yep. So, so talk about a little every, bit about that because you talked to him Everything there time. was... It's the guy you said he was like had been a drinker, but then he moved into non-alcoholic. Well, he owned the brewery. Um, or yeah. Yeah, he owned uh, Atwater Brewing. And uh, then they moved into this, which now they do, they have some energy drinks, right? They have a CBD infused drink, and then they have quite a few. That was the one with CBD. Yeah. I I remember now. Yeah, you talked to him quite a bit about that. Quite a few non-alcoholic beverages. And I was like, look, I was like, you know, we are, we are Bucks and Brews. We love to talk beer, right? We don't care if that beer is non-alcoholic or if it's alcoholic. We don't drink to get drunk in the sense we drink because we enjoy the flavor of the stuff, right? Yes. And he goes, dude, that's that's what a real beer drinker is, right? That's that's what a true person that enjoys this. And I was like, that's exactly who we are, right? And so he we we did dude honestly we probably had a good 40 minute conversation. I mean that's so, where we lost you because you were having such yeah. a good talk with him. And, you know, I mean, they, they hooked me up with a lot of nice, really awesome stuff. I mean, again, the hat, right? Things like that. So I'm really, really happy to hopefully we have them on. Yeah, I, absolutely. I'm going to have to start reaching out to everybody. But yep. I, I think we need to have a lot of these people on. I was very impressed with the Pink Barrel Sellers. That was from Ed Dunback and Girls Farm Market, Yep, which is yeah. um, somewhere north, I think, yep. maybe. I'm not saying I... I think it was. North. I don't remember where they're. I don't know. They had really fun flavors, yep. really good tasting beers, um, yep. or one, ciders. But one that's fun for us, we do frequent just because. Um, and but it's great to shake the owner's hand always and get to know him better. And and he's excited to to have us come in. And um, I'll explain a little more when you pre- present it. So yeah, we uh we met Linus Linus from uh, Three Gatos, Three Gatos in Wyoming. Trace. Sorry, it's got those, but it is three. it is three. Yeah. Um, which you know, it's three cats. Yep. Uh, in Wyoming, which is over Burlingame and Forty Fourth Street. Correct. Uh, I have gone to a couple different trivia nights there. I won Star Wars trivia night with the great Scott Rosma and go. the great James Lowry. Um, and I got my ass kicked at uh, Parks and Rec trivia with the great Nick Watkins. Hey, you know that. What did you? Okay. What did we hear? Is the next one they're doing coming up? The uh, it's always sunny. In always Philadelphia. always sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, let's see, which I I'm not gonna. I mean, I'll go, but I'm not gonna. I've tell. never seen that. Um, I mean, I've, I've seen like two know, episodes. It would, I would know. It would be kind of like how that first Star Wars one, 
I went to you guys with the one that was out um on in Chicago Hudsonville? Drive or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And it was Bird. like I could answer like the first three questions. After that, I was it was game over. Yeah, it was me, Jason, and Scott. After that, yeah. But so, you know, we he, we're talking, and I said, you know, I've never ordered a beer there. Right. So this is a true fact, right? I've never once ordered a beer. After you tell this story, I want Mike to say how sometimes he picks beers at apoptosis. But go ahead. There you go. So he's like, he's like, what? And I was like, look, you guys have a wheel for a reason. He goes, all right. A wheel. You know how I got, he goes, you know, we got this wheel. The guy's in there and he's a little tipsy at the time. And he goes, man, you guys need a wheel. That'd be so much fun. So he goes, I went out and bought a wheel. And the guy comes in, you know, the next week or whatever. And he looks at the wheel and he goes, oh, a wheel. That's an awesome idea. Good job, man. And he looks at me and goes, it was your idea? It's say so you know to me i'm like dude i love it because again i again i'm a connoisseur of beer in itself i want to get all flavors there's stuff i don't enjoy but i'll still try it right mm-hmm. and and normally when i walk in the only thing i usually tell them is look i don't love lavender and i don't love florally beers so if you pick that or if i get that that's completely fine that's the only thing I'll do in a short and I'll still drink it, but it's going to follow up with something just because I want to try it. I still, I still want to, I just, I just know what I don't want. Right. Right. And uh, so <clears throat> that's the fun, but anyway, Mike, how do you pick an apoptosis? Okay. You'll appreciate this. I, it I'm falls right so. into things that you've talked about before. They have right now what they can fit. 12. So they've bought, because they're similar, like kind of little gamers themselves, some D12s. So I'm I roll the D12. Every time? And it's the same thing. <clears throat> yeah, now that they've got a few newer things on there, I've done a little more of the, well, that's new. Give me that one stuff. Sure. And, that, and trust me, don't get me wrong. Uh, after I've been, like, Trace got those again, I don't order. I mean, in theory, I just go, hey, do you have anything new? I always want to try that. I look at it as not ordering it. Right. <laughs> it's just, yeah. hey. And then otherwise just bring me a beer, right? So I, yeah. I do the same thing you do because I again I want to try the new things. But like I'm like you, f- if it's if it's gonna be like a, a really happy beer, which I don't like, yep. They know to only give me the small pour. Yep. And you still want to try it, right? Mm, that's the biggest key. Yeah. And the only thing I have that they've had that I haven't liked was what they actually advertised as a double hop bomb. Because even their New England IPAs were not that happy. Well, I mean a double hop's gonna I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, the, and the New England style, anyway, kind of curved it because they throw the cream and stuff in it. I say, speaking of, well, we've already talked about this brewery, so this is a uh, um, Mike Brie Utrecht. Oh, Utre. Um, it was funny, there was a bunch of wheels, and you can get prizes at places. And every time I was like, can't koozie, can't koozie, and every time I hear that, can't koozie. <laughs> At, at all these breweries, so that was really fun. Um, you're gonna have to remind me of this one: Black Grass Cider Works. Mm-hmm. Does it ring a bell, guys? Because I grabbed a sticker, mm-hmm. but I don't <laughs> particularly. I would almost they didn't need a map to remember. It's, it's funny because I was hoping you boys had my back on that one. Yeah. So, so three of us. I'm sure they had great beer or mm-hmm. ciders. I don't remember. There was yeah. nobody. I was really like, of what I picked, there was. I would think. The worst of the things that I picked that I drank was actually, and again, I think it was just because of how much I ended up having after you basically dumped your cup into mine. It was that size at the one point. Sure. Um, we also had that's archival. also what knocked me on my ass. We also had archival brewing. Yep. Which everybody, they're, yeah, they're just they're right well known, good stuff. Yep. Uh, we mm-hmm. talked about Brewdog already. We had Brewdog. Um, love Brewdog. Brewdog yeah. is awesome. Their sticker up there, their pride sticker on, yep. on the wall behind me. Um, Got that one on my car. Nick's trying to look up black grass here. Is it black grass? Yeah. It might um, actually help to remember kind of what they had. They're in Rochester Mills. Um, I do kind of remember that because I remember looking and being like, oh yeah, they're from the east side of the state. Griffin, why does it say Griffin Claw Brewing? Maybe it was a Griffin Claw, and then their cider is called that. Could so be. they were under Griffin Claw. That very well, Griffin could Claw be. was there. Okay, because so, I remember Griffin Claw. We um, we had them. Yeah, so and, that's and what maybe it was. that's what 
that Griffin water. Claw Brewing was there, and they actually have a the cider group. side, and it's called Blackgrass. Yeah. That's why Perfect. we didn't remember it. Okay, because yep. we're okay. like, man, I don't remember. Look okay. at you being smart there, Nick. Yeah, we have thorn apple like brewing. when you get like shorts, and then you get like the the shortcut ciders. Well, right. It's 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 like going. I've never called it Jaden James until I come on to here and until I tell people about their their peanut butter porter. Right. Never once do I call it Jaden James. You call it Cascade Winery. One hundred percent. I'm because going to what it is. I'm going to Cascade Winery. Well, and they they have a distillery now too, which yeah. I still call Cascade Winery because right. it's all the same fucking I thing. Say, I'm 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 going. Oh, I'm going to. If I talk about the beer specifically like you, I will say Jaden James because nobody's going to know. Right. That way. That way you know. Hey, this is exactly what right. you want. But otherwise, really, I'm like, hey, you're going to go to Cascade Winery. And you're going to get a. You're going to get a peanut butter porter. Yeah. Oh. At a winery? Like, and, no, it's called Jaden James. They have different things. Yeah. And, all right, so this is one of... I lied. I, one of my favorite interactions. Thorn Apple Brewing Company. Um, One of my favorite interactions. Okay. Um, Discuss. Sorry, so I'm going to text her right now. Oh. Again, as a reminder. Um, So Thorn Apple is not far from us. They're in yep. Grand Rapids. There's a, I said, are you guys on the Thorn Apple River? She said, no. Uh, You would think we would, because that's the only thing anybody knows about Thorn Apple and, uh, yeah. for us, right? Um, there's a thorn apple Kellogg, and then there's actually a thorn apple golf course down Plainwell Way. Yep. Um, but so, right, we we get to talking, we talk about Bucks and Brews, and her eyes light up for her husband. She goes, Holy crap, I am so excited for my husband to talk to you guys. He's gonna absolutely love it. He loves talking about where he started, and she kind of gives us the spiel, and I don't want to ruin any of it no. for you guys. But I will tell you, just like because that's what we yeah, do. I, I do what we this dive time. on, right? Because yeah. and I'm like, well, we'll hold it because I want to hear it. But like, let's record this because and we basically did a podcast right there. Um, and so I'm really, really excited about that. Yeah, I, I really did enjoy that that little interaction there. So uh, we we saw, of course, I, I got the uh, Griffin here for Griffin Spa. Uh, nope. Sorry, that's Again, is that dragon's, dragon's milk. milk? It's dragon's milk. They had dragon's milk. They did not have dragon's milk, but they had stickers the there. there but they didn't but they have had dragon's milk. Yeah. Well, that was like Nick said. They were kind of limited to what they could. They were saying, "I thought it was the Griffin. I was going to be so excited." Um. Anyways, Revolution, full of stickers. Well, they had a couple of ones. They had that one. Yeah, they, they did. The tie dye ish one. Anti hero and yeah. Yeah, they had the coolest stickers. There was one cooler, I think, unless that was also. I, I think I love that. Uh, that can, was the Griffin call. Can coaster. I'll, I'll go get the one that I think I remember really liking. Yeah, so this was Goliath, the uh, one from Iowa. They had a pseudo Sioux Pale Ale, which I did not try, but that other one they had was really good. So we got a couple of can coasters from them. My favorite sticker of the day. Did you see this one from Griffin Claw? Yeah, I didn't know it was a sticker. I thought it was a can uh, coaster. It's the Grateful Dead logo, basically, with the Griffin on there. Yep. So we got a lot of cool stuff. Really enjoyed that. Um, and like you said, Nick, we had so many great conversations. Oh, we got a little cup from Brew Dog too. A little aluminum. Oh, here, here is that recyclable cup. Oh yeah, Mike's got the hat. Was... Oh, was awesome! Cool. Yeah, I'm saying that you can't see it too much in the camera how purple it is, but it's really an awesome and it's very Nick comfortable. Loves purple. Very comfortable. Um, yeah, I got actually. You gave me two of the Art Coast metery stickers. No, I didn't keep one, so there you go. I feel oh, like I need to give one to Nick next time I see him then. And I got some sorry casino sunglasses. I say and uh and yeah, the deck of cards. Got, I got sunglasses, decks of cards. I yeah, got a deck of cards. Twenty five dollars in free play plus twenty five in food. And I'm excited because they paid for a date night. I uh I told Caitlin, I sent her a text. I'm like, hey, I got two new pairs of sunglasses for you. She came right over for the fuckers. For whatever reason, she loves those cheap ass pairs of sunglasses. She just throws them in the car when she needs them. Yeah. They're yeah, free. She also I mean, had to come not? over to get bring you pizza. Oh my God. Nick. So we call her on the way back. Yeah. And of course, she's like, Are you guys drunk? And Mike's like, I'm very drunk. <laughs> yes, I am. And somehow we got on, come pick us up. I don't remember saying that. Mike might have. I don't know. And she's like, what do you mean come pick you up? Where are you? And he's like, on the side of the road. Oh, jeez. So, of course, then Don's like. I don't like, remember that. Don's like, were you that drunk? Because she, she's relaying me the story from Caitlin. I'm like, well, I vaguely remember Mike saying something about on the side of the road. <laughs> and oh, uh, she's like, you motherfucker. And I'm like, listen, 
I was not drunk when I drove home. And right. then Caitlin's like, yeah, I had to bring them pizza. I'm <laughs> like, and why did you have to bring us pizza? Because mind you, I'm driving. I can't order. I said, hey, Caitlin, can you go and order a couple of little Caesars pizzas, get like a sausage and a pepperoni, you know, in town. I'll just pick it up, you know, after I drop Mike back off the house. She's like, yeah, no problem. So she orders it. Yep. I drop Mike off. I run over the corner to Little Caesars. I walk in. It says my order's ready. Yep. I look on the oven. My name's not on it. I'm like, it said it was ready. So I pull up my email. 3500 Byron Center Avenue. I call her. I said, um, you sent this to the wrong place. She oh, goes, no. what do you mean? I'm like, this is the one by your house. And she goes, oh, do you want me to get it? I said, well, I'm not fucking going back out now. <laughs> oh, so, no, you is. better. Yeah. So speaking of not having it a name, it is probably correct. her default one now, though. I mean, my my wife was gone for the weekend. Yes, right. Little girls get away. Um, and oh my god, I, I'm not dogging them, the people. It's whatever. She had a good time. Let yeah. me let me be clear yeah. on this. What'd you guys do? Oh, you know, we went to a couple wineries. We didn't go to the one that was right down the road from us because they didn't want to go out this time. Blah blah. Oh, what'd you do for fun? Well, we all made slideshows, uh, PowerPoints or whatever, on a topic that they were interested in or something. And I was like, okay. What, what you people find fun and what the fuck we as guys find fun is like, I think I had more fun Very different donuts than, than what her little weekends. Yeah. And I'm like, huh. Yeah, we are I mean, way doing like people. a team building thing and they said, make a PowerPoint of something you find interested, I would do that. Well, yeah, no, and it was... I mean, know, it might I, be very similar to what he would do unless he went strictly with soft. It would probably be a and, and it was, or something of that nature. I don't remember all the topics, and I'm not going to, you know, whatever. But, like, one of them was top HGTV shows or whatever, and it was like, hey. And then the other one was... Uh, and my wife's one was, has a hot woman on it. Right. My wife's was uh, uh, something about, like, growing up as a, a filthy rich kid. So, like, being a huge celebrity, you know, or so, like, the, the prince and princess's kid... And because she Kardashian or some shit, like I don't fucking know. I didn't ask too much into it because, like, I doesn't interest you. I just don't care. Like, yeah. what, what's uh, what's my boy's name? Elon Musk, his kid's name's like Ty Curry or something like that. I don't like, oh, no, I don't care. Well, it's got like an X or a hyphenated or something. I don't, but it's got squiggly lines in it and shit. And I think his name's Jack, <laughs> like, kind but, of like Prince's symbol back in the 90s, yeah, right, you know, that kind of a thing. So, but she, you know, she finds that lifestyle like fascinating and doesn't want anything to do with being rich but like it's just weird to me you know i'm like of things i'm gonna do on a friday saturday sunday night with my friends is not that if i could it'll go along with it but i mean it's kind of like the ones who will like go and do this if i could have dialed back my drinking a little bit on on saturday and not been hammered by the time my wife got home yeah it'd have been a perfect saturday yeah because I didn't realize I was that drunk, and I never do until I'm that drunk. Yeah, but I I wasn't hung over the next day, so it wasn't that bad. There you go. We gotta we gotta. No, you said you were still drunk in the morning. Yeah, I was still drunk when I woke up in the morning. There you go. So I couldn't okay. be hung over. So so here's something that happened, and this came out of on of course talking about it, and gave it as to a reason why we were so drunk. We got yeah, into what Willie Mays and I share a birthday. Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron and you. Share a birthday. And so he asked the question, okay, you know, oh, no, she's all like, why Why is it so exciting that you share a birthday with Hank Aaron and not exciting that I share a birthday with another one of our Star Wars groups? And it, it has nothing to do with that. I mean, I can hang out with, you know, Carla, you know, pretty regularly. It'd be cool to, like, meet Hank Aaron and be like, you and I have the same birthday. <laughs> we have one thing in common. Well, that's it, right? I mean, I mean, he's he, he the question. Okay. He's like, and you were I can't so go drunk. hang out on the moon. He's like, who's as good a player as I hear? And I said, Ted Williams. Who else? And I said, Ted Williams. And she thought it was, I kept saying Ted Williams. I was drunk. Now, my thing was, I was basically saying there are very few people that equate to that level of baseball player. Sure. No, and that's, I mean, and, and, it's a whole different story when you're when you're drinking and having a good time, right? Yeah. I mean, we did. We all had a great time. Um, you know, I, I say for the for the discount, sure, but sixty five was a little much um, for what I felt. If we okay, if we win as normal people, not as bucks and brews, because I know what we're gonna get out of it is gonna be amazing. But I don't know, paying the VIP 
I didn't see why normal people would do it, right? It was still so crowded. you would have rather gone 40? Is that all the differences? Is fi- it was 25 bucks. No, I mean, I would I would have paid it, but I guess I would rather go for 20. Well, yeah. Right? And then well, pay for I my mean, drink yeah, tickets on top of that. To go cheap. Well, I'm saying, like, I'd pay 20 like, and then next year, 20, 20 next in the year door, you want to be, like, a sponsor that they, like, say, hey, up here as Bucks and Brews and get in for free. Right. That, you know, it's I mean, like, that, would, that, that would be your dream be the media side of things we right? literally could just sit there and podcast the entire fucking day yeah right and uh and have a good time doing it so it's just um i guess you know what i thought the value that the that they brought for what it was you know i mean if you weren't vip i don't think you got a freaking sally's donut or whatever that pla- the donut place was the one that won oh probably not because they were handing out full-size donuts you yeah. know i didn't stand in line for sandy's because Sandy, you know yeah, i did not want to stand in that line by the time we, i mean that was well, the second in, area that we went yeah we stood in the first line which took forever but yeah. we were around cool people we had a, yeah, we had time. a good time we were, we were mingling and, and there was out a, stuff and there was a brewery right there yeah, as we yeah. talked to them well there was two technically the line was so far back yeah. like you rounded a little corner where sandy's it was like no you had nothing else around and you had to tuck in it was just no, we're not going to wait in line. I, no. I'd rather pay. And you and I are the same, right? We'd rather pay a dollar. Yeah, I'll go get a Sandy. fucking donut from Sandy. Sandy's. Yeah, on thanks. Was, you know, so that's what I'm saying. Like, um, Let's I guess I can't tell you. Now we're just hanging out, handing out wheat waters or whatever. I'm like, yeah. yeah you've had sweet water, waters right? anytime I want. Right. Um, you know, it was, it was it was fun. Like, I again, but just looking at what I got for $65, I can't say... It's worth 65 bucks. Yeah, not for probably a normal person. Right. I mean, if you're doing an event, we went for Mike's birthday. If we're just we're going for Mike's birthday, yeah, oh, maybe. I'd do it, right? Like, it, it wouldn't be a question of, like... But we got a- more out of this as Bucks and Brews than we would have just gotten as David and Nick going and hanging out and drinking right. beer. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, and that was... Because we would have spent less money and drank more beer at a bar. Yep, yeah. exactly, right? Or uh, we could have bought a 24-pack, sat at home and watched baseball all day. And... and- yeah. And hey, like again, if it's something that we really like, instead of getting five ounce fours, like I would have gotten a full pour and could have just sat around and we could have talked baseball. And, yep. But going talking what we love, bucks and brews, getting connections. I mean, it made it worth it. It right? was but absolutely worth it. They said, well, it, like, said as a normal person, sixty five dollars a person. That's basically one hundred ninety five. For one hundred ninety five dollars. Yeah, we're getting a whole lot of really good beer, and we're probably like. That could include like a dinner at like anywhere other than like Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Right. And yeah. that and that's kind of how I look at it. It's just um, you know, I, I'm not dogging the fact. I'm just looking at it going, hey, what is what is what is it worth and is it doing it? So for a normal person to be there, I'm not sure why there were so many VIPs, right? Yeah, there <laughs> like, were a ton. You know, but I mean I mean, we got there just before it opened because Mike and I had a troop for free, free comic book day. Yep. And uh, you had already been there for a bit, and you got in line. So we stood in line to go to a line to get our tickets and stuff to stand in another line to get in. Yep. And it was probably 15 minutes in line just to get in. Yep. Because there were so many people there by the time we got yep. there 10 minutes before it opened. Well, and, you know, again, because I'm lazy, that's really what it is. But, like, they should have had a sign or something that says, hey, this is the price when you get it. Like, because we got lucky. Yeah, it we did. was 5 to 2. And we're like, hey, we need more beer tickets or whatever. And the guy's like, hey, you better go get them until the well, that, yeah, that was basically somebody telling us, yeah, yeah. if you guys so need like they more, go get them now because the price is going to go up. Yep. And so we, you know, we we did that. That was fine. But, um, you know, we let's say, uh, you know, I don't know. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it just a little bit different. I guess is what I would say. Right. Um, I don't know. Make make it so that way. Make it so that way my cup isn't on a damn lanyard and keeps falling over and it's too heavy and stuff like that. Well, so. I took mine off the actual lanyard. Yeah. Well, it I'm like, I don't want to necessarily the... have the beer around my neck. Yeah. Um, I've seen people carrying theirs in the metal cup after yep. a bit because, like, these these plastic cups were, I mean, it's a plastic cup. Right. You know, and say, and then they punched holes into it to put a lanyard on it. It was like, oh. Um, I literally, it's in the sink and Don's like, how the fuck does the lanyard work? And I'm like, it works if you don't have beer in it. And she goes, okay. But when didn't we, right? Like, I mean, if we ran out of beer, we're like, we need more well, beer. That's, that's why I, I would hang not, it. Go ahead, Mike. That's why mine was not around my neck. 
I would hang it when I ran out of beer till I walked the 10 feet to the next place. Oh, see, and I never put mine back on my neck. I never took the time to put it back on my neck. Yeah, yeah I did. I did one. Well, like, so first many times time... I was like, okay, we're here. And I'm like, I guess I got to finish like this. You yeah, there were several of those So too. I could get yeah. the next one. Um, but no, I just, I, I, you know, I, I had a great time. Um, I say Kathy hasn't responded to me yet, which is a shame, but. She will. Uh, I know. This is a, it was a. Uh, very awesome, very awesome uh, marketing, right? I mean, we talked to all of these people. We got a lot of them that said they're willing to come on, willing to do stuff. Hopefully, um, you know, Revolution Brewing. Um, they said, you know, when we talked to her, she's like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, see if I can get you guys sponsored in some type of way." And I was like, "We'd awesome. absolutely love it, right?" So, well, I mean, you know, I, I made the I, comment to him at a point. I'm like, "You guys are going to spend your summer just on location." That's what we're hoping. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's say. Well, you know, it's like I said, the, the one guy walked up to us 10 minutes after we bought more drink tickets. You were still talking to, I think, her, Kathy. Yep. And uh, Mike and I were just kind of standing in front of, you know, the corner of first base there. And the guy just stopped me. He's like, hey, you guys got the podcast because obviously we're wearing the fucking shirt. And the hat. And, and yeah. yeah. And I'm like, yeah. He goes, oh, you guys sound like you have so much fun. We really do have a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm leaving. Here's all my tickets. Yeah. And he just handed 10 tickets to me. And I'm like, yeah. sweet, thank you. Well, a lot of it, I mean, a lot of the people that we did run into, I guess I, I'd like to know how they got theirs because it felt like a lot of people were there as promoters and as things like that. And so they got it, but like, um, I didn't hear any other dumb people rushing mm -hmm. for the $65. I mean, again, so if you made it, you know, we'll always wear a hat, but I don't see myself wearing this hat besides today. Yeah, I don't um, know if this is a hat I would choose to throw on. You know, I, I, I'd wear that other, I'd wear the purple. One. Oh, I'm going to wear that purple one all the time. Right. Like, yeah. but I don't know. It's just, it's kind of different to me. So it's just like, I, and I'll wear it for fun, like here and there, but I, I don't know. I mean, I have a Bucks and Bruce hat that I absolutely well, love. This right? point, so the it's, thing is with this, this is a once a year thing. Yeah. Right. But like, it's not dated. The other, so it's like, yeah. The other thing literally is like, you know, that's a company you really think is doing the thing you're basically showing. Yeah. Hey, I'm supporting a company that I really believe in. Yep. And like and, wearing uh, a Bucks and Bruce hat nowadays. Oh man. So, and if you have a Bucks and Bruce hat and you wear it, man, you're the best person in the world. So um no, I, you know, I, and so I just I I thank Fifth Third for putting it on. I'm not um, you know, one other thing, I guess I was it Fifth Third or is it LMCU? Oh, whatever the hell it and is. And technically it was sponsored by Soaring okay. Eagle. Oh, yeah, this is by Soaring Eagle. Yeah, Soaring Eagle. That officially could be part of it, too. I'm sure they had to pay something. Oh, of course. To get it. And probably if you're at more of like, and, you know, let's say you could do it at like people just walking around like Whistle Stop or something like that because right. you weren't worried about having coverage. And my other thing is, is like some of so them are out probably do the... it for half the price. One other thing I would have loved to see. So that corner really, really bothered me. Okay. So the one down by um where the where the donuts were lined up, like the big lineup by Sandy's. Yeah. Nope, the other the other corner. Oh yeah. The one where the where one with like Utre very was. special donuts. Yeah. Utre and, and yeah. uh New Holland and the specialty donuts and stuff like that. But like I I'd rather see just only using one half of the the concourse so that way there's more space aspect yeah. of things because yeah. Uh, it, there there was parts of that that was crowded, and I get that it's always crowded in a ballpark thing, but like, there's so much space in this place that they didn't utilize. Yeah, and they could have done a lot more with like even like putting like like maybe the donuts in where like the regular like food concessions are. Right. Well, they, they had the one drinks. yeah, and, and they had one concession open. Yeah. But no, I, I liked. I mean, don't get me wrong. I did actually like the fact that like you can go to a couple of breweries, then get a donut, a couple of breweries, a donut. Yeah. So that way it was set up like that. Um, I just, you know, this is hard because unfortunately on the one side it just acts like if they yep. could do like they do on the first base side and basically run it until they hit the, uh, you know, sweets or not the sweets, but like uh, the party areas. Yeah. They well, could probably like spread it out a lot more. You know, they could have opened the out the outfield balcony air, you know, that thing. They could have they could they have, have done there. that, yeah. Like, you know, had some seating area. Well, granted, the whole place is seat, but like indoor type, you know, that they type had of a thing. Couple breweries and a donut place up on the that upper up on the deck, right. But I'm the saying deck, they could yeah. they could have had the, the indoor suite there or whatever, like you know, wrap it all the way but around I mean, so like make a big turn. Upstairs of where we where we change for the white caps. Yeah. 
so soaring eagle did put this on um i actually have your breakdown so vip was 59 dollars plus fees 60. 65 yep general admission was 44 so it's a 15 dollar difference yeah at that point you might as well get the vip you get a hat you get early entrance an hour before everybody else the souvenir cup the lanyard 10 beer tokens 10 donut tokens and the hat which we would not if we went the other way we would have only gotten four four less tokens for each yep and then we wouldn't you look at the price that they offer them for you almost make up what you definitely yeah. different right by price in terms of tokens right yep so i mean i guess i, I see where the vip comes into you know yeah the the better value but again if you would have made it if you would have made, you know what? If you give me eight and make it fifty dollars, I'm not as mad. It's not that you know I get it, fifteen, but it's just sixty five is a lot of money. Like you think about some of the events and some of the nights you can have at sixty five bucks, man. Mm-hmm. Like I, again, if I didn't go as bucks and brews, I can't tell you I would have been like, oh, I'm so glad I did. It made right? me different next year because they even said like they've sold out quicker this year than they've ever sold out. Sure. In terms of VIP, yeah, I saying VIP sold out really quick. Yeah, it did. Uh, so award winners, do we want to talk about that? Yeah, let's yes. do it. So we'll start with People's Choice because I like that. Yep. Number one was Farmhouse Cider Company. Yep, out of Hudsonville, Michigan. Number yep. two was Arctos Meadery. Arctos, say which? Uh, my buddy's trying to open food there. So oh, nice. Yeah. Number three is an Iowa place that we actually like, uh, yeah. Toppling Goliath Brewing Company. There you go. For the judges, I, mean, I, remember, like, I like the stuff from all of them. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, Arctos is not mine. I don't like Arctos meat. has a meat I don't like um, because again, it's got floral in it, right? So it's not. But their their traditional meat, I really enjoy it. Right? It's a very Wasn't good. There's the one that was the they, first meadery we went yep, to. Yeah, we got the blueberry, which is very blueberry forward. And again, I'm not. Yeah, a but huge, yours was like licking like a honeycomb. That's exactly it. Like, and that's what I'm all about. Like, yeah. I'm fine with eating a honeycomb. So the judges awards. Let's hear it. Number one was Wise Man Distillery. What? Okay. Number two was Drink Lover Boy. Okay. Number three was Pigeon Hill. Oh. I love Pigeon Hill. Yeah, I did not go to Pigeon Hills because I, the beer I have in my fridge right now, which Mike can attest to, is Pigeon Hill beer. Yeah. I mean, yeah. well, let's say again, it's hard because and I think what they had there was what we they had like oatmeal cream pie. And... Yeah. Yeah, and it's saying you know we're not far from Mesquite, and so that's just right. something we normally get. Well, I bought it last time I was a Meyer because buy one, get one 40% off. So yeah. I got oatmeal cream pie and I got salted caramel porter. Mm-hmm. Uh, donut awards. Yeah. People's choice. Sandy's. Sandy's donuts. Full fucking donut, baby. Number two, Groovy. Yeah. Third, which is Gro- the place. Gro- Groovy was that one with uh, the... Was that the... Not the dip, but no, he was okay. a cho- it was a chocolate and all that. And okay. And the pink donut and stuff. Um, third was Boswick Bakery. Okay. Which I love Boswick. Boswick's great. Judges Awards, number one, Sandy's. Okay. Two was Sprinkles Donut Shop. Yeah, out of Hudsonville. And three was Bros Doe's. Bros Doe's, okay. Which I've had theirs and yeah. they're okay. Yeah. I, nothing I really love, but they're okay. Yep. What makes Sandy's Donuts special? Everybody they give you a full donut. They give you a full donut. Oh, okay. That make, there it makes sense. I've heard that they have good donuts. I've never had Sandy's. But don't like, I, you know, I like sprinkles. Mm-hmm. It's a good donut, but I'm going to compare it. It's a, if you asked me if I put sprinkles and margers together, they're the same effing donut. Like they're both lightweight. They're, you know, that type of a thing. Like they're the exact same donut to me really. And we all love margers from around here. So it also bugs me that Marge doesn't show up to those things. Well, I mean, she is old. Well, let me say she's just, yeah. Different. That's why we're kind of spoiled down here to have sweet waters because sweet waters just not well, for my money things. the best donut well and and i don't know we had one it was a donut conspiracy yeah i like theirs but they closed right but because up here for some reason nobody buys these full god uh, you know like gargantuan i can't they're not huge they're just so like when you get a Reese's donut, it's covered in Reese's, has like a half a Reese on it. But like, I think the reason Donut Conspiracy doesn't do well up here, literally, and I'll give you my one excuse, is because everybody would rather go to the salted cupcake. I'll give you a better excuse <laughs> in my in my thought. Sure, they're too fucking expensive. I yeah, I, I can get a Sweetwater same fucking donut at Sweetwaters yeah. for a buck less than I could at 
conspiracy. And it was in Sweetwater. What is the cost of conspiracy? They were like two fifty to three bucks for a fucking donut. Oh yeah, they were. Yeah, like they were were more. If you went there after like seven thirty at night, they'd be half price because they want first thing in the morning at Sweetwater. You're getting one of the giant ones. Like yeah, a yeah the giant ones. How much? Like a buck seventy-five. Oh, see, and maybe I'm maybe a weird. little more expensive now with supply cost, but I can't imagine it's much over two. But dude, like I love their their cheesecake donut, right? I mean, you can get a dozen donuts there for like thirteen fifty, which is bad. like that's nothing compared no. to. Yeah, I mean, maybe fifteen bucks, right? Whereas you could never do that at conspiracy. You get six. Yeah, maybe yeah, for, I don't even know. I think you could. I think the two dozen packs nowadays only cost. Only cost like peanuts. I think I got forty donut holes for the girls, and I spent like twelve dollars. Donut holes, gotcha. Okay, yeah. so yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I don't know. I I, I love Sweetwaters. It's it's fun. It's a it's a cool little experience, right? Yeah. I mean, and the donuts. I mean, they're just the, the, the real filled. ones. The, the one the one on Stadium and the stadium one drive. on and yeah yeah Stadium <laughs> Drive and Sprint because those are the ones yeah. that are literally like a hole in the wall building. Yes, yep. the one in Plainwell just avoid. Just avoid. It's it's an okay donut. Sure. But they bought the rights to use the name. That's why they're SW Donut Mill instead of Sweetwaters. Gotcha. Because they don't use all of the same recipes. They use some of the same recipes. That makes sense. Because Dawn actually called the Stadium Drive location and goes, how come the one in Plainwell doesn't taste as good? And they go, well, this is why. Gotcha. And again, I mean, if you want to do that, you can do that. But when people find out, they're going to, I'm going to drive the extra 15 minutes to Stadium Drive and get a fucking Sweetwater's Donut if I'm going to go all the way to Plainwell. The one, yeah. And if you're going toward in Battle Creek and you're right along 94, <laughs> the one on in Battle Creek right on 94 is just yep. like the ones on Stadium and Sprinkle. They're the true Sweetwater's. Yeah, and that's where I stopped for the girls when we played in Battle Creek. Gotcha. So, I mean, you know, I, I am snobby when it comes to beer and food, I guess. Yeah. Because yeah. I want what and, I want. I mean, you know, the funny I, part is if I would have if I would have had the energy to stay all the way to probably at some point before the game on Sunday, I was gonna probably go buy myself a steak. Yeah. And I was gonna have myself a birthday steak. There you go. Yeah, you had talked about that. Mm-hmm. No, and and you know, as I say it I'm not I don't know, and and there wasn't a set standard of what to offer, right? Mm-hmm. Beer that five ounce pork soup but then you have sandy's donuts who's giving a full donut and then you have this other guy who's giving a puff pastry donut and then covered it and did whatever and, and then you some had, had quarters an eighth of yeah quarter yeah. and eighth like and you're just like all right great like all right, what do you well, want to getting here? one of their i mean was well i mean even a full donut for two of the donut tickets is still a better deal than anything out there can't yeah. imagine they were giving that for a whole single donut because they said for the donut wise some were one some were Gotcha. Yeah. And, and it's just, I don't know. I mean, nothing was consistent with them. So that was kind of a weird thing. And and again, I like a, I, I want a filled donut and a lot of them were, yeah. were cake donuts yes. and yeah. I, I don't want to have dry cake donut. Granted, you could put all the frosting on it, but as you said, I mean, I probably made it five o'clock in the morning, sat until we got them at two o'clock. Yeah. The and that's just the thing. Yeah. Yeast donuts do last a little long because yep. they're well, you know, like, yeah, I mean, like when that, we're... most, but you can buy like fun, you know, filled yeast donuts. I mean, your classic glazed is a yeast donut. When we were in that little, you know, corner there by Outre, yep, we met those really nice women. Yep, yeah. and God, we talked to them the whole fucking day because we kept running into them and yeah. we just kept yeah. talking to them about the podcast. And I got I got stuff. unfriended and then refriended and <laughs> said Dude, what? what? I got unfriended because because I said that it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a great peanut butter yes. quarter, and she goes, "I unfriend you." Yeah, I say, "I was like, that's not how this works. It's not any of this work." And she's like, <laughs> "She's like, yes, it is." And I was like, "No." I was like, "And here's why." And I, I explain that it's not the greatest we have the peanut butter porter. Issue and uh, we so have getting... a different expectation of certain styles, yeah, of beer. And then, and then you know, and then she goes, "Oh, I understand where you're coming from. I want to be friends again. I fully agree." And I was yeah. like, "See, I was like, this is what life is." Because between, like you said, being able to go to get monkey butter, between, you know, like I said, there used to be, Old Mill used to have a good reporter. They did. We were able to drink, out of your business, basically, two days came right out the from tap, the yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Which was great. Right off the line. I mean, it. 
we're probably snobs when it comes to the peanut butter porter because there are so many good ones that we love. But you have to be a snob when it comes to it, right? It, like, it, it, you kind of do. I think you know, it's, it's, pork, you're a snob. I mean, I you're, it's the same thing with, with vanillas. I mean, we're the same exact way with vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, well, and I think it's with every beer, right? So, okay, let's talk yeah. about light beers, right? Again, you drink Miller Lite. I think it doesn't taste great. I like Bud Light. You didn't think it tastes great. Coors Light, we both go, meh, all right, we can have it. But, like, everybody has their, like, hey, this is what this is, right? Coors so, Light is just alcoholic water. I mean, honestly, <laughs> all three are just alcoholic water. Right. But I, no, I, they think I like they're the only dirt like into Miller Lite. <laughs> say, There's something that makes you know taste like old style, you, right? I mean, tree, you, know, you, you, you and I can agree on old style. Yeah, I will drink old style. I need to have three or four real beers before old style. <laughs> but if I have three or four beers, I can drink old style the rest of the day and be happy. But if I know that, like, okay, so like when we go golfing, uh, my buddy and I, um, I'm going June fifth, fourth, whatever uh, Sunday, and we get a case of Yingling, we get a case of old style. And we get a case of oh uh, Miller High Life um, because it's the things Have that you we travel just... to get all these things because the only thing you can get in Michigan is the Miller High Life. Actually, you can get old style. I can't. I can tell you where, but you have to just go talk to the right people and order it, and they'll get it for you. Well, um, how do you get the Yingling? Yingling is we don't travel. We okay. have friends that bring it to us, and okay, that's not a big deal. I mean, my brother, my brother works out of town on a constant, so. But um, yeah, yeah that's so how just, you get new glares. Exactly right. My new glares doesn't come from me; it comes from my brother going yeah. to pick it up for me. Um, but you're right. So so that's but that's how we golf, right? So then we have 36 beers between the two of us. We golf 18, and it's an outing, so it takes us all day. We literally just drink these all day, <laughs> and we have a great time drinking mad beers, right? I mean, but we have we have so much fun doing it. I mean, honestly, though. Oh, and then we'll throw in PBR once in a while. When I went to Philadelphia, this would have been 15, no, 15 years ago. Yep. It had Yingling because I wanted something. Yeah, you have to. Very local to that. And I actually thought it was pretty good. Yeah, Yingling is not bad. Again, relatively so I, speaking to other stuff. Yeah. And it's it's the first, it's the original, right? I mean, um, Yingling, I, I enjoy it. I'm, Every time I go out where I can go get it, I drink a Yingling. It's not like I'm sitting here craving for it. It's just yeah. fun because we can't have it, right? That's the biggest key. They don't. The only thing with me, like that that outer dark thing they had was not the Hershey good. one. The Hershey it was not, not good. good. It, yeah, it was and, a huge disappointment. And I think it was because right, and we it took us forever to get it. it. Took us forever to find it in the sense. And then when we got it, we thought it was going to have a very chocolatey, you know, kind of. Mm -hmm. Kind of like when we talk about peanut butter porters, right? We thought it was going to be yeah. more of a smooth, very rich chocolate. And this was more of a burnt coffee, <laughs> not yeah. good taste, right? Um, and so I, I'm I'm glad I tried it. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not rushing out to go do it twice, right? Point and I after think your, uh... the best thing Yingling has is the black and tan, right? I will drink black and tans of Yingling all day, every day. It's a great beer. So I do yeah. want to mention... A couple sure. of things. Um, you brought up Miller High Life. Yeah, if you mess with the High Life, the High Life shall mess with you. I, I just want to mention that the Dollars with Drew episode uploaded a couple of days ago. There you go. And that's his favorite beer. There you go. Because he drank it with us. Yeah. Um, he did give us a nice shout out on Sunday about the fact that the episode was dropping. So that that was cool. Yep. Um, we have a increase of ninety two percent over the last thirty days with our reach for yep. our episodes. That's good news. Um, popular was a uh, real estate underground podcast yep which i thought was strong uh mental health one was popular because we're all fucked up and we hate ourselves is that, is it that the why we hate yourself yeah that's why we hate ourselves one. it was it was quite to popular. To that one at some point so i do want to touch on that one briefly because you know my mental health is still shit um so one of dawn's oldest friends reached out to me last week sometime and she had mentioned that, you know, I'm, I'm having, I'm, I'm having some struggles and, uh, Hey, uh, Nick, can you grab me a Mountain Dew zero on the medium shelf, middle shelf? Um, I'd mentioned, you know, I was having some problems and he's like, well, what's the issue? I'm like, honestly, it's just easier if you go listen to the fucking podcast. <laughs> so I said, the podcast and I said, here, listen to this. And, uh, he came back and he's like, I really enjoyed your guys' podcast. You, you really, you were just raw and you talked about 
what's going on. And um, I, I really, I, you know, I get where you're coming from. And, you know, I told him cause he's a recovering alcoholic and I'm like, listen, I, you know, I I've become an alcoholic in the last few years, just because that's how I have to process pain at this point, you know, not physical, but mental. I said, and it's not right. And I don't like it, but I, sometimes that's kind of where I'm at. You know, I, I just get to the point where I can't handle my own brain Right. that fuck it. We're, we're getting hammered today. Oh. And, uh, I don't think I was that way Saturday until I was that way on Saturday. Well, and, and, you know, we divert off into this quite a bit, but like when you look at it, I understand why people become, I understand why it happens and how it happens. And, uh, you know, when, when you're so used to wanting to fix things and then all of a sudden you get this moment of break, right. Where you just don't feel how you felt and you're like, man, I like this so much better than feeling how I did. Right. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I get it, but like, it's just making smart decisions along the way. Right. Yeah. And so, you know, intentionally I made sure I didn't over drink on Saturday. I made sure I was there for my kid. Like, yep. You did what you needed to do to but, be a dad. So again, like I know people are like, Oh, you're an alcoholic. No, I don't need it. I do. I crave it. Yeah, sure. Once in a while. And there's days where you're like, damn, it's hot and sunny. And this would be a perfect day to have right. a good drink. But when there's something that needs to happen, I do my life. It's not that I'm functioning an alcoholic anyway. Like I usually don't drink unless it's a podcast or I have a meeting and weekend warrior. Right. right. <laughs> but like really plain and simple is like, I know like, especially where I am mental health wise and stuff. And it's like, so Saturday, I'm not going to lie. There was a part of me that was scared. It was like, man, you're not going to, you're not going to stop. You're gonna... Nope. Like I have this priority. Like, and it's a school function, so I yeah. couldn't show. Yeah, up, yeah you couldn't right? show up like, half in the back. But it helps when you have that. Well, that's yeah, the thing. I mean, actually, I think it was probably Monday when I was actually at our softball game for the work team. But like, I in the last couple of weeks joined a group at work that's really about emotional health and well-being. Last week was the first meeting they had that I actually attended. I think they've had this thing for about a year. And they were like, well, it's been a while since we've done one where, you know, somebody sits up and kind of talks about things they've dealt with in the past. I'm like, the people were being quiet. I'm like, I have no problem doing it. I'm like, I know this is the first meeting I've been to and I just joined. But I mean, it's something I fully like believe in. I think like, a lot of the other people are just there to kind of be like, okay, I want to be in some sort of group. Yep. I'm like, I really, truly believe you need to talk about what's, what's happened in your life, especially like these are a lot of, a lot of the people in there, I'm probably one of the oldest ones in there. Right. Well, and and I think it's one thing. Like 20-some year olds, and you're like, I've been through this, I've been through that. You know, some of you are getting kids. I was bullied as, you know, in the middle school age, you know. Well, and it's hard, right? Because, you know, you handle things so different than I would, right? So, like, um. When we talk about bullying, right? Plain and simple is my advice to somebody right now would be just suck it the fuck up, right? And that's not the right advice, you know? Um, because I'm like, man, that you have to kind of suck it up and just wait for the day. But it's it's but the it's whole... important to talk to other people about it. Exactly, right? Even if it's not your your parents or your teachers, like talk to friends that you know are going through the same thing. And, and and that's the thing is being open to be able to talk about that because I mean I was raised by my grandfather who, you know, you just eat your fucking it's emotions. <laughs> so you eat your fucking emotions and you don't let it out, you little <laughs> say. Um, you know, and, and that's just kind of how it is, right? Um but you know, I I look at I look at this type of thing and, and say, Hey, event, you know, you're you're joining a group, right? This year I took on um my magic group. I I'm the uh sergeant at arms and in, in my in a club it's something i stand behind it's something i want to make better it's something mm -hmm. i need to get behind and yes i i like i'm already i'm not i did join the rpoa and now they're like hey you want to be a or you know you want to be on a board and stuff like that and i'm like look that's next, next year's what's that be the sexy assistant in a little black dress right <laughs> say um you know but like so it's, i'll buy one they're already talking about, Hey, do you want to be a board member? And I was like, whatever you guys need, but we'll talk about that next year when it comes up, but joining, joining things, right. Getting around people to, to really, and, and it's funny because I don't care who you are. My, the way my mindset is right now, 
is I'm a firm believer in we are very much here to help each other in this specific situation. Monday, I had my real estate thing and I, you know, I, I was the first person, all right, hey, who did a deal in this past month? Like, I want to give credit and we all clap and we all do our thing. Like, I want you all to know that this is what we are here for. We didn't start this group to come brag. We didn't start this group to fucking be better or worse than somebody else. We started this group in order for some people to come get advice and learn. And that's what this is for. You're always more than welcome to come talk to me. I don't care what the heck the situation is. Let's let's figure this out, right? Um, because I don't want, and I see I see it quite a bit where it just falls apart and, you know, clicky little things happen. And I'm, I refuse to let a click happen, right? You can have your people to hang out with them but not when we're in this little time, right? I don't care how you manage, how you do whatever. We can discuss it. We can have an open conversation. We will not argue unless you're a douchebag, but like, right. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you, Hey, you can't go finance these things. You can't go do this. Right. Like, um, and it's funny cause I don't sugarcoat shit. I don't care. <laughs> like, and I should a little bit sometimes, yeah. but, but I don't. Right. Um, but that's the, is, the people doing this are adults. They can't handle somebody being you know like being like you're an adult deal with it yeah they need to go like get a job as like a daycare provider or something like that where they can pretend their kids are. well and and you know i don't know i i don't want to give that i don't want to make people have to go figure out how it feels right like um I've learned that you can only control your situation and control you and that's the biggest thing you need to focus on is is you right um don't get me wrong. I mean, David, we talk here and there, like my, my, not everything's going well in my business right now. Like right. things are just getting, get, 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 get. and so like, I'm in a low aspect of things, but it's like, I'm jumping on calls. I'm jump like I'm posting stuff and like, and you're trying to make things happen. There's, there's things on, on, you know, I mean, God, I was not late for here, but I just didn't show up on time. I barely answered. I don't even know if I answered you boys today, you right? Because like, I'm just like, I am so focused on me. And then when I come here, this is what I'm focused on. This is what it is. My brain will go a million places, but this is what I'm trying to teach people is, Hey, we're here for magic club. We're not here for, Oh, Susie did this and we don't like it. Or you know, this happened. Mike hit on something earlier that I think is important. I don't want to go clear to mental health here, but let, let's talk about it for a minute. So at an incident last night at the game, um, had some tears from some players Yeah, and uh, I didn't really know what was going on. We shut the bed in the first game. Okay. I, there's no other way to say it. We shut the bed. Yeah. We lost to a team. We never should have lost to. You're a great team. Yeah. And I was probably the most pissed off of anyone because we shouldn't have lost that damn game. Yeah. And, you know, afterwards, Hey, go talk to so-and-so, see if they're ready to go. Fine. I go out there and then I get grabbed by one of the parents going, why is so-and-so crying? I, I don't know. What do you mean? You don't know. They're crying. I honestly have no idea. Fine. I'll talk to you later and just walks away. Sure. Okay. I say, hey, I mean, rule stay. Don't talk to me. During the I don't game. talk to, pitch, er, to parents anyway. So whatever. <laughs> say. So I go ask the kid, I'm like, hey, how you feel? Yep, good coach. I'm ready to go. Great. Go back in the dugout. Hey, so-and-so is ready to go. Great. Is so-and-so still crying? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, okay? I don't know anybody who's crying. I just want to sit here and be pissed off, okay? Can I, can I just be pissed off? Nope. Now I got to go check on this kid. Okay. So I come out and I walk up to the kid. Hey, can we talk? Nope. Why? Because I don't want to cry anymore. Now I got several girls around i got parents around i got two parents popping off at the mouth not that they're popping off they're they're frustrated none of these girls should be crying okay i don't know what the fuck is going on (laughs) i have no idea what the hell's happening Mm -hmm. and i said hey i didn't do it well no you didn't i'm not mad at you and gives me a big hug and i'm like cool can can we go talk (laughs) so we go and talk and they're like, this is how I feel. And, you know, justified feelings. Sure. You know, I have some of the same feelings. All right. We, uh, I said, we'll talk as coaches afterwards. I will make sure we get this figured out. Yep. I come back into the dugout, both of them, Chris and Karen. What happened? Not a big deal. We'll talk about it later. Everybody's fine. Yeah, I want to know right now. Everybody's calmed down. We're good. What happened? Really, guys, we'll talk later. It's not a big deal. Let's not do it now. Oh, no. They forced me to give them answers. So I'm sitting here now playing both sides. 
giving a little bit to the coaches, giving a little bit to the kids, not taking sides, yep. but trying to lead everybody to, we're going to have to Let's sit down and back talk. to the game. Yeah. yeah. So now he's upset because he doesn't, he didn't even know any of this was going on. Right. And he's pissed because now he thinks he's done something. He doesn't even know what the fuck he's done. And I told him, I said, yeah, you got a little bitchy with me too. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, we well, came over to me at one point and you're like, stop calling outside pitches. They're hitting them all into right field. But I call it inside pitch and they pull it down the line foul. And then I call an outside pitch because I don't want to keep pulling them inside. And then they just poke it into right field over the second baseman's head. I, I don't know what the hell to do. Right. It was a six run inning. I There was nothing I could do. And it's not that our pitchers weren't pitching well. They were. It's not that our fielders were making mistakes. They weren't. You guys want to do one? Yeah, let's do a scam call. Hello, this is Nick. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing today? Good. Thanks for joining us on Bucks and Brews. How can we help you? So, what, uh, where are you from? Uh, we're from, I'm from Michigan. Where are you from? You're from Michigan. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from Florida. Florida, okay. Beautiful weather down there. Really? Yeah. Good. So, my name is John. I'm with American Benefits. Reason of my call is to let you know that the rates of Medicare supplements and Medigap insurance has been recently dropped down. So, I do believe you have Medicare for staying, me, right? Yeah. Okay, how old Let's are you? Uh, sorry, I'm 67. How old are you? Okay, and the last question from my side, you're pretty much qualified. So, do you have a military benefits like TRICARE or VA? No. Well, that's all from my side. You're pretty much qualified for the benefits. Please stay on the line with me. I will transfer your call to my senior supervisor. They will further assist you, okay? Senior supervisor. All right, good, good. Okay, so stay on the line. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Yeah. What if this guy's from Indiana, but sounds like he's from Bangladesh? Your call is very important to us. Well, stay on the line. I think that's a question we should ask. Hey, where are you from? He's he's John from Florida. Okay. Okay. John, you with me? Thanks. What? God, come on. Oh, he, he hung up on us. Um, John from Florida obviously didn't like our bullshit. Anyways. So, you know, we didn't have enough fun with that one. I'm sorry. Yeah, we didn't. That was that was kind of it was anticlimactic because it sounded like it was going someplace good. Yeah. So I you know, I, I give them a little bit, and we're getting ready to start game two. And I mean getting ready to start the first batter's in the fucking batter's box. Yeah. And everybody in the fucking dugout is pissed. So I call them all over to me. I said, Hey, if you're not on deck or if you're not hitting, come to me now. Yep. And I, I was it was simple. Hey, how's our headspace? It sucks. I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, we got a game to play. So we need to put all that stuff aside. You're pissed off? Be pissed off. Yep. But go play for each other. Don't worry about us. Go play for each other. Yeah. Yeah, we came out 113 to 1. They were never in the fucking game. We absolutely beat the shit out of them. Like we should have in the first fucking game. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Um, afterwards, we got, you know, to talk to them. And Chris talks about the good stuff that they did. He He really said nothing the entire second game because he didn't think he'd done anything in the first game, but. They're upset when he's yelling, and they're upset when he's quiet. So he figured, instead of being mad, I'm just going to sit here and not say anything. Because if I don't say anything, they can't be mad at me for yelling at him. <laughs> right. And he's been better this year on the yelling. Good. So he tells them what, you know, the positives from today. And, you know, we, we talked about some of them. I talked about, you know, what I was pissed off about in the first game and how they came out and, and competed hard in the second game. And he goes, all right, the good stuff's over. Uh, now we're going to talk about the drama. What's the drama? We're not leaving here until we have answers. No. Oh. And, you know, a few of them were brave and they talked and I said a few things and I, I said, you know, some of the things that bother me. I'm like, listen, I tried to die two years ago. I'm a different person now. Everything triggers me. I said, if, you know, you tell me you're upset with how I'm calling a game that triggers me. All of a sudden now I'm, I'm upset because you're pissed at me, right. whether you are or not, it doesn't matter. In my mind, you're pissed at me and I'm doing something wrong and I'm hyper sensitive to all of it. Yep. which I've never told him, but now he kind of understands. And honestly, I feel like that's how the girls attack everything too. If he says, Hey, you know, you can't, you can't watch strike three go by. That's too close. 
they're all of a sudden going, oh, now I suck. Coach just said I sucked, which is now what's happening. Right. Well, you should never watch Strike 3. You should. <laughs> you and I all. Absolutely. Say. Big pet peeve. Yep. So, you know, we talk and afterwards he's just beside himself because he's like, all right, well, they're telling me I'm not helping them at all. And they don't want me to be quiet and they don't want me to yell. I don't tell how I'm supposed to. How do I coach them? Yep. So I get it. And I, I don't really have any answers. And I just, I went home. I didn't talk to, I talked to Osborne the whole way home. I got his advice. I got home and I talked to Don and Don goes, okay, but these sound like some of the same issues that you and I have. What's the difference? I said, the difference is they have a fucking mediator there. I'm the fucking mediator. I'm the one stuck in the middle of everything. I'm sitting there soothing them and soothing, you know, Karen and Chris at the same fucking time. So I can't tell everybody everything that's going on because I have to keep things confidential. But at the same time, I have to give them enough that we can maybe move forward. Yep. So we didn't talk last night. I didn't bother him. He didn't bother me. He called 1030 today. Yep. Beside himself, doesn't know what to do. I I don't even know how to attack practice day. I don't even want to go. He goes, I can't coach them if they can't tell me how to help. I get it. I'm like, it's probably time for a sit down. Yeah. So. You know know how to fix that? you've seen days of thunder yeah okay so you show them the clip of when tom cruise is uh driving the car right and um crew chief uh, say right and so you're uh he goes i want you to hit the pace car he goes you know how do you is it loose is it tight i don't know what those mean Right. right and so all right great here's what we're gonna do Mm -hmm. (laughs) when you feel this this is called you know so you show them that clip you show them that clip, and so then they're going to all of a sudden go, all right, I now know what this this means, what this is. Like, hey, I know exactly what we're talking about. Well, see, and one of the things that I ended up doing was I knew we needed to talk. I knew it didn't necessarily need to be him, okay? And I'm like, all right, they, they talked some yesterday. That was good. But we're still not to the crux of the issue. Yep. So I told him, I said, just let me take the lead because, I mean, This is kind of why he brought me here anyways. Yep. So, you know, we've had some girls dealing with some different issues. And uh, they get done warming up. And I I took a bucket out there and I sat it down and they start to leave. I said, don't go anywhere. They went, what? I said, sit down. I said, we're going to hash this shit out right now. We're going to come to an understanding and we're going to move on with our lives because this cannot continue. Yep. I said, listen, we come here every day with, with shit. And... Some of it's good and some of it's bad. And, and when you're here, you got you got to put that out. I said, you know, I, I missed one practice in 20 years of coaching. It was the day after my wife walked out on me. Right. I called off practice. It was 2017. We didn't have practice. I said, most of you know, second week of the season, I was not in a good place. You could tell I was struggling. You don't know why. I said, that Monday for practice, I woke up at my daughter's house because I walked out of the fucking house. I, I didn't want to be around my wife. I left. I came here and I looked at Chris. I said, tell me I didn't need to be here. He goes, yeah. I said, what did I say? He goes, you said, you'll be here. This is where I'm supposed to be. I had to set those things aside because I'm not the head coach here. I don't get to make the decision of today sucks. I don't want to have practice. That That's not my call. And yeah, he, he can tell me not to come as much as he wants, but you're, you guys are relying on me. Practice is here. Yeah. And because practice is here and you're relying on me, I'm here. Yeah. Well, it's- same with my kid, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to do this anymore. Great. You don't have to. You know what? Tell you what? Don't show up with me on Thursday. Don't show up with me on Saturday. But I'm telling you what? I committed myself to you and to these kids. If you're going to be the quitter, that's on you. But otherwise, guess what? I'm I'm here for this. This is what I'm here for. Well, and I knew if I sat there and gave them concrete examples of me going through things yeah. and setting it aside for them, Maybe they would understand where, as coaches, we are coming from. Yep. Because, again, he's coached them since third grade. Sure. This is where they wanted to be. They wanted to play for him. And he's a, I mean, he's 6'4", he's 280 pounds. He's intimidating as shit. Yeah, he's a massive man. He scares the hell out of them. I get it. I was that coach, too. I scared the shit out of my kids. Yep. You were there. You were fun. I was not. I was say, yeah. But I also had to be their fucking dad. Yep. I don't have to be that anymore. And we practiced for an hour and a half today. And I think we spent 15 minutes doing softball. And the rest of it was talking. Yep. And I think we got a lot of things hashed out. I think they have a much better understanding. And they were open because literally it started with, I don't think we can do this with you coaches because I don't think we'll be open. 
And then half of the team's like, fuck that. We're going to be open right now. <laughs> and they just started pouring it out. Yep. Because we have to talk about those things. And like what Mike did with his work group was he looked at it and he goes, well, I'm the old guy here. And maybe you're not in a point where you want to share. But I'm old. I don't give a fuck. Right. And that's kind of where I was. I'm like, you know what? I'm 45. I don't give a shit. I'll bear my soul to you. It doesn't matter to me because you're not going to look at me any different. And I told all of them, listen, you got to go to somebody. You can always come to me. I, it doesn't matter to me. I love all of you. And you need people in your life that will do those things. Again, my wife gets mad because I call you, Mike, or Christy every time. We fought. What day did we fight? I don't know. We fought Monday, maybe. And while we're sitting there fighting and I'm just trying to blow her off, well, how many of your friends did you text? Does it fucking matter? Right. Well, it just makes me mad that you can go talk to them, but you won't talk to me. I didn't text any of them. Not one of my fucking friends. Because again, this, the fight that we were having was nonsense. It was fucking nonsense. Right. But she wanted to... This, is, this was the fight. I asked her to come to the bedroom because I found cheap enough flights for November. As she's walking through the dining room, I said, hey, grab my wallet. It'd be really nice if you asked instead of ordered me around. Oh, jeez. I didn't order you around. That was me asking. Well, that's not asking. That's not very nice. You know what? She's not wrong. It really wasn't asking. Nope. But I wasn't ordering anything around. Right. You... So now I'm pissed off because I'm I'm told that I'm ordering her around, which is not how I meant it at all. Did it come off that way? Sure. It came off that way. Nope. And, and unfortunately, I do ask that way a lot of times because she goes, you know, you, you asked Mike for a glass of water on Saturday night. You said, hey, Mike, can you get me a glass of water? Why couldn't you say, hey, can you grab me my wallet? Well, there's so many differences, right? Okay, so, and this is what I try to get through to my wife as well. Yeah. Okay, so you, let's set the example. Mm -hmm. Okay, your house is not a fucking mansion. No. Okay, so when you're walking by your dining table, it takes three steps. Okay. Yep. I have two steps to get you before you get pissed because you're already in the room and you have to turn back around. Yep. So the last words I use, grab that, right? Yep. Like my brother and I, uh, you know, he never, we never, Hey, go get, grab that tool, do this, do that. Like we communicate like that. Right. So when I'm talking to my wife, I'm like, Hey, go grab that real quick. Can't you ask for it? I mean, I, I could, just but like, plain and simple, like, do you want this fucking job done or not? Like I'm, I literally just asked you for it. I understand it doesn't sound like that, but that was me asking. Right. Like, you know, oh, how can I help? Well, you can stop thinking I'm not asking. Like at the end, at the end, guess what? I'm gonna go. Thank you for all your help. Yeah. Right? Like, I meant no male intent by it at all. It was just, and it started a, a fucking hour long fight. Oh yeah. And then I get, well, did you go bitching to your friends? And listen, I'm gonna talk to my friends. That that's the way life is. I don't give a shit that you don't want to talk to yours. Yep. I said, and the reason I picked the friends I pick is because they're gonna tell me when I'm being a dickhead. I need to know, am I being a dickhead or am I justified? And I'm going to tell you right now, all three of them tell me when I'm being a dickhead. No. And then they tell me when I'm justified in being a dickhead. Well, like something like that. I mean, it's just, she's having a bad day for some, she was having fucking, a bad day, some stupid fucking reason. And, and that set her off. Right. It, you know, it's not like that was, I mean, again, you in your head, you're trying to do something nice. You just, you're one track minded of, Hey, grab my wallet. So yeah. we can make this happen. Like, do you want to do this? Yes or no. Right. Like, well, then I get, well, do you have to do it right now? No, I want to do it right now. I want to get this done because this is, it, it was like 200 bucks less than I've seen it for it. The tickets were around 1350 and I was getting them for 1100 bucks. For what? For a cruise? The cruise, yeah. I got you. And I mean, they were not the cheap economy on Delta. They were the step up. Okay. And this it, is just a flight for 1300 This is just a flight. Yeah, flights are fucking expensive right now. Yeah. And, but again, I could do it cheaper. If I picked a different airline and if I went at a different time, I'm leaving at 530 in the morning. I'm getting in at 10 in the morning. Yep. Which is nice. And the flight back is the shortest trip. Yep. So it's like 1030 to 245 or something. So I'm paying more because I want what I want, Yep. but I'm still saving like 250. Yep. Because, you know, we're fiscally responsible here on Bucks and Cruz. <laughs> um, but but again, I, the, the but fight was, happen. the fight was worthless. It meant nothing. Yep. But like you said, she was not having a good day and that set her off. And instead of talking about it like two normal fucking people, we can't do that right now. We're not at that place. Yep. We're at the place of everything you do is to try and hurt me and everything I do is to try to hurt you back. So we're just shitty to each other all the fucking time, literally all the fucking time.
we i i fully understand man. we went out to lunch today uh-huh. and she looks at me and and she's like i bought another plant i was like great she goes it's a vine i was like what the fuck like i don't like vines it destroys yeah. houses it grows them. it gets under my siding it does yep. and, and so for seven years i've bitched about vines that grow in, and i can't get rid of this one yep. like, you anybody, can't kill them anybody that's out there that knows how to do that help me out because i literally struggle with this all year and i've been bitching for seven years about this right and i mean eight years now of living in this house and so she's like i was thinking about play- she's like you don't want it on the pool fence and i was like no i don't want it on the- i don't want it on the pool fence i don't want it on the back fence i don't want it and i was like why the fuck would you buy that like and so like i keep kind of going into this and she's like i understand i get it you know i didn't I didn't plan it i was like and she goes you made your point and i was like no for seven eight years i've been describing to you how much i hate this fucking vine well, this one's not invasive. You don't understand. And I was like, no, it grows into st- like I don't fucking care. So for seven, eight years, I've been describing to you how much this vine has pissed me off and how much it's a fucking work and a pain and it destroys everything. And I don't want it. And yet you you're you're pissed because I've now made it clear in these 30 seconds. If for eight years you haven't gotten it and you still went out and did the thing, why would I not keep going at you for right. 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes of no <laughs> like and she's like well you know i i could still you know get rid of it and i was like jesus man like I, and so i'm the asshole because for eight years i bitched about these vines eight years i've struggled with these vines I bitched about it every time and she still goes and buys fucking more vine and i'm like somehow i'm the asshole you see my cousin Vinny? yeah <laughs> yeah so the point there where the judge is asking him are they guilty or not guilty yeah and he's finally like Mr. Gambino, the next words I need to hear from you are guilty or not guilty. <laughs> and he just reads it to him like he's fucking two years old. And Vinny goes, I think I get the point. And he goes, no, I don't think you do. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel like I have that conversation with my wife all the time because she's like, I think I get it now. No, you should have got it the last three fucking times, okay? Yeah. So I don't think you got it now because the last three times I thought you had it, you still uh, did this. Yeah. That's exactly it. And it's just like, Man, you know, I, I, you know, there's certain things in this world that I'm just like, I know that you complain about it. So I try hard not to yeah. do it. Right. Like it, it just blew my mind that she went and bought a fight, but it's not invasive. I was like, fuck. One of the fights we had for years was her using the wrong fucking credit card at places. Oh, God. And I've offered to write down what to use where this one's at the grocery store. This one's at a gas station. This where whatever. And she's pulled that on me four or five times in the last year. Every time she does it now, I'm like, hey, you use, let's say, Bank of America at <laughs> Speedway. Yeah, at, yeah it's, please don't do that. And she's like, oh, I didn't think I did. All right, well, you did. Okay, can can you please not do that? <laughs> so, and then she's like, well, you get so pissed at me. I'm like, yeah, the, recent history shows I don't get pissed at you because every time you do it, I'm like, hey, please. just so you know, can you not do that? Yeah. Well, yeah, but you get so pissed. No, I used to get pissed at you. I just accept it as part of life now. Sometimes you're going to fuck up and use the wrong card. I've offered to write you down where to use things. So you can just pull it up and go, oh, I'm at Meyer today. I can use Saver or I can use Bank of America, but nothing else. Yeah, uh... But no, you don't want me to write it down. So You just want to grab whatever color looks good right. today. Yep. And she's like, well, it's red like the other. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> one says Bank of America, one does not. Okay? I don't give a shit what color they are. You now see why I don't have a credit card. <laughs> Probably, yes. <laughs> And again, I mean, you know, I, I'm doing it because I'm maximizing my uh, rewards, reward yeah. points. You know, if if I use Saver at a, at a grocery store, I get 3% back. Yeah. If I use Bank of America at a grocery store, I get, I think, one. I think I get two or 3% back. But if I use the regular Capital One, I get one and a half. Right. So why? It's you... costing me money to use that one instead. Yep. And I count every dime I have. Everybody has to say. I told you about screwing up my back a couple of weeks ago, right? Yeah. Do you know how I did it? bending the, over to bending get, over to pick up a fucking yeah, penny yeah is a, this is how cheap i am which i thought was funny um so you know i, I say i want to get back to uh our donut experience mm-hmm. our beer experience um i say sorry we tangent off um that's all you guys do no i'm kidding <laughs> i like it thanks, <laughs> thanks, here. thanks don I say, uh, thanks courtney <laughs> no I say she still hasn't listened to a single episode uh, well, i didn't listen to the mental health one i did not get any feedback oh i say um but no really you know so we're we're hoping guys if you're still with us let us know if there's a brewery in your in your area that's doing great things for the community great things for stuff and uh we'd love to try to reach out to them have them on 
um, interview because we want to we want to bring up this beer community and things like that. Absolutely, we do. Um, so as always, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your family um, about us. And again, um, we really appreciate you listening. Any brewery that's doing amazing stuff, we want to hear about it. Mike, what'd you drink tonight? I was drinking a mix of Blake ciders. Oh, nice. There you go. Nick had the tried and true. I say Bud Light, thank you. And uh, just for everybody that knows, um, I sat here and shredded my plastic so that way ducks and chicks and all that don't hey, get a hold good of job. Uh, that's, that's something that's very important to me. Uh, some of the things we got coming up, we got two or three guests lined up for uh, timeshares. You still need to watch the John Oliver one on timeshares last week with John Oliver. I told you you're going to need to watch it. Did you send me a link? It's on HBO Max. So you're going to have to watch oh, mine. Okay. It's I don't excellent. have HBO Max. You do? I no. don't. So you'll have to watch it on mine, but it's it's excellent. You need to see it because yeah. that's going to lead us into those conversations. Sure. Um, Millennial Money Witch will be on coming up here sometime soon. I need to get back with her. Mm-hmm. Um, we do have a lot of exciting things coming up. Uh, we're we're going to be more regular once softball season ends. And, you know, if you have ideas on episodes that you guys want to hear, please let us know what you want to take up. There's a lot of interesting things going on money-wise right now. Um, we're back to the debt ceiling fight. If you want to get up to date on that, go back and listen to that episode. We had Professor Seawick on for that and and a really good conversation. My mother, before we go, starts telling me, well, we're going to have this debt ceiling fight again. They need to cut spending. I'm like, that has not a fucking thing to do with the debt ceiling. And she goes, well, what do you mean? So I had to sit there and explain it to her. And she goes, well, why do Republicans do this? Because they just want to hold us hostage over bullshit so rich people can stay rich and poor people can get fucked. (laughs) She goes, you know, if they really cared about people, they'd have like, social programs for kids and sh- i'm like yeah you're preaching to the choir here okay amen sister amen <laughs> say mom, mom do you want me to just sit here and stand on staying on two hands exactly <laughs> ring, uh, ring. <laughs> ring, ring. so guys again thanks so much we'll, we'll talk to you real yeah, soon Yeah, thanks for joining us everybody we'll talk to you probably next week You've dialed in to Box and Brews. You might hear something you can use. Like tips on your cash or tips on the suds. You're going to want to use the smarts of these stuff. Because they know the brews. And they know the box. And they know they can't help the stubborn fucks. So listen up, because shit's not funny. And save yourself some beer, beer money. money. Bucks. And, and brews. Bucks and brews. Bucks. And, and brews. Bucks and brews.